Queen's College twins, Kripa and Vikram Tani, wrote the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate examinations this year, and they emerged with a total of 31 grade ones. They said it is the result of hard work, commitment, dedication, and most importantly, unflinching support for each other in their quest for academic upliftment. Kripa, the older of the two, sat 18 subjects and emerged with all grade ones, while Vikram wrote 17 subjects, copying 13 grade ones and four grade twos. While they were engrossed in studies in the last couple of years leading up to the exams, they also found the time to engage in extracurricular activities while serving in key positions at a Cam Street school. Kripa has been a dancer with the Ghana Hindu Dharmic Sabha for the last 11 years. She also played lawn tennis, served as president of the Hindu Society at Queen's College, and was a senior journalist for the school's media page. Vikram was the lead treasurer of the Hindu Society and secretary of the Law Society, while he also dabbled in some lawn tennis. I spoke to them about their success at the exams and what the future holds, especially as it relates to their academic advancement and career choices. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was happy about it, of course, but I couldn't believe it. I didn't think I would get all 18 ones, but I'm just happy I did. Obviously very happy, you know. I expected a very good performance. I knew it couldn't be all grade ones, but I was happy that the remaining subjects were grade twos. Overall, it was a very good performance in my opinion, and yeah. Leading up to the exams, we know coming off a two-year period where there wasn't much face-to-face -face interaction, we were basically left doing majority of work virtually. How challenging was that period in terms of preparing for such a, an important exam? The transition was very hard. Um, yes, we were taught, but it was kind of hard because I felt like I was talking to a computer all the time, and I feel like I'm more of an interactive learner. So it was definitely hard, and I was kind of distracted by my phone so I had to like mentally say that I'm putting my phone away for this time and I'm gonna study now. I would I would describe it as quite challenging. Um, the online school it was to me very distracting you know being at home in front of my computer whole day. I was obviously distracted by my phone, games you know friends messaging. It was a very distracting period throughout the entire time but return to school really helped me that final year because we returned in fifth form to complete, to prepare for the exam. That really helped me, although the lesson stayed online. I did do some lessons, but a lot of it was also on my own. Past papers really saved me. I did like almost all the past papers and I relied on those um, study guides a lot. Those helped me. That was one of the major source of study material past papers, working, all, working almost all the papers from the years before. Um, the CXC study guides, CXC provided, the CXC provided textbooks were the ones that really helped. And yeah, those are the main sources. I would love to be a lawyer, corporate lawyer to be specific. Any reasons why? Um, I've always liked the challenge and I feel like when it comes to law it deals with a lot of critical thinking and thinking on the spot so I feel like that's something that's gonna be good for me. I'll also be pursuing A-levels, Cambridge examination for business and economics. I come from a, many generations of business. I hope to take over my family business as a side, as one of the things I pursue in life. More than rivalry, we're kind of like motivators for each other because we would see each other doing something and we we're like, I want to do that too. Like, we should be like both doing good at this, right? And we would help each other, share notes, and so on. So, there was competition, but it was like more of a driving force for us. Well, we definitely had our own rivalry sometimes. You know, we're in the same grade pursuing all 17 subjects I did, about 16 of them she also did. So, we were in all, almost all our classes together. but. Throughout the years, even in primary school and all, we always helped each other. So it was always healthy competition. We'd always motivate each other to do better and stuff. Right, and you want to be so excited and want to be excited. Yeah, and I'm very proud of her because no doubt that on my grade ones are definitely um, through her help. A lot of what I did is has to be credited to her. So I'm very proud of her too. <laughs>